Hi Luminaries, in this video I'm going to show you how to use these 3-in-1 Pom Pom Trim Guy Kumi Humo Cord Maker and then a Sashiko or Embroidery Circular Tracing. Okay, so let's first start off with the Pom Pom Trim Guide. So as you can see here, I have a whole bunch of different types of pom poms that I use the Trim Guide to help make it into a round shape. This is great because it's really actually kind of hard sometimes to, you know, make sure that your uh, pom pom is circular and then um, it won't get you this type of tight trimming it will get you the um, loose trimming so I'll put a link in the detail to actually so that you could figure out how to do the um, or pom pom as well so let me demo this for you real quickly so what you're going to do is you're going to take your pom pom that you've actually finished winding with the loom tool and you're going to cut okay Oh, this one is multi-color. Okay, we're going to make sure we get all the loops. Okay, and then we're going to fuzz this out. And the way you would do this is you would take a pom-pom trim guide. So I think I'm going to, you know, either use this size or this size actually might be good for this pom-pom. And you're just going to trim. So easy and it helps you really get this into a circular shape, which is awesome in a quick way okay one thing that I like to tell people always is that because your pom-pom is a three-dimensional shape you have trimmed one side here and then you're gonna actually have to turn it over one and then trim this other side see how there's these corners that need to just be rounded out okay then I think we're pretty good. You might have to do it a couple times. So it's like this, there's a you know, piece that's kind of hanging out, some loops that you have to clean up, but that's pretty much it. That helps you get it into a round shape. Now for the Kumihimo cord maker, you could actually only use this one. I'm actually also gonna provide a link in the detail section of this video to show you how to make this ancient Japanese cord. It's actually really cute and it's super repetitive. I actually look at it almost like a, a ancient fidget spinners of sort. Okay and then for um, sashiko or embroidery round um, patterns this is great. So all you would do is you would take your pom-pom trim guide and just trace you know different shapes you could overlap them, whichever, and then embroider. For sashiko, usually you're gonna have a base square or a piece, and these lines here help you actually line up so that they are flesh and, um, you know, to the square, whichever you like. See how that goes? See how this is flush to that? And then you just repeat, and this one grabs the, um, edge of the top of that and then this one will actually lands right in between where these two semicircle meet and then if you want to make bigger ones you could do the same thing okay and that's pretty much it hope that's useful and enjoy everyone